Your journey with Explorer HD TV starts here. If you're visiting for a weekend or you've been here all your life, Explorer HD TV will guide you through the best places in the Northwest. It's time for an adventure. Welcome to Explorer TV. I'm your guide, Christy Gorenson. There are a lot of small towns in the Northwest, but not a lot of true ghost towns. We're in Old Molson, Washington, where we start our adventure in Okanagan County. Through every door, around every corner in Molson, you might meet someone, shall we say, unexpected. This relic of a town is near Oroville, Washington, not too far from the Canadian border. Its population? Well, let's just say the residents keep to themselves. Molson was originally a mining camp during the gold rush. It became the boom town of the Okanagan Highlands until a farmer claimed the town site as his land. One by one, the people of Molson disappeared. Now Molson is a ghost town museum. You can walk through the streets and visit the original bank, see how a homestead cabin was set up, or make your case at Molson's law offices. The Molson Ghost Town is just one of many historic and scenic places you can visit while in Okanagan country. That's whoa! A good home base for your Okanagan adventure is the Eden Valley Guest Ranch. We tell you how far it is to every lake, how big the lake is, the predominant species of fish, where to go hiking, um, wineries, golf, museums. Eden Valley has 10 guest cabins, each with its own kitchen and a homey lodge for gathering and good food. But most likely, you want to be out on the trails on horseback. Okay, now when I'm going to stop. Ranch owner Robin Stice and guide Sasha Torwick can bring out the cowboy or cowgirl in just about anybody. The ranch even has extra boots, just in case you forget yours. You'll ride through green meadows, covered in wildflowers, shady forests, and open fields. Every day on the trail is different. But every day on the ranch is Eden. If your idea of paradise is on the water with a fishing pole in hand, Okanagan County is the place to be. Fishing on the Metau and Okanagan rivers is hard to beat. I'd say it's world class, man. <laughs> it's... You can find fishing guide Brendan Pasley on the Metau River just about every day. His Globe Trouters Guide Service is one of many outfits that can help you have a successful day on the water. Catch frequency is very high here. Um, if you've never caught a steelhead and you've tried a lot, your chances of catching one here are a lot better than, say, some of your coastal rivers. Oh, it's a beautiful place. I can't even put into words the feelings that I get from the mountains and the river and the water. I mean, it's just, uh, it's beautiful. The scenery just begs to be discovered on the Okanagan River as well. Fisherman Greg Bennett, owner of the Big R Fly Shop, has been fishing these waters for more than 20 years. The Okanagan Valley is kind of a hidden jewel. People don't know about it. They don't think of it as a fishery. And that, but it's one of the best there is in the state. Another best can be found at the North Cascades Smoke Jumper Base in Winthrop, Washington. This is the birthplace of smoke jumping, and these highly trained firefighters who parachute into a wildfire are the best of the best. The base here is the birthplace, 1939. The Forest Service um, was experimenting with the idea of the parachute for many years, and they just a lot of the folks at that time thought it was. Uh, crazy. The smoke jumpers here want to share that history with the public and they offer free tours of the base every day from June through October. And that's what we like to share on with the people of the United States of what we do. Uh, we work for them so we want to show them what great resource the smoke jumpers are. From smoke jumping to horseback riding, fly fishing or ghost hunting, Okanagan County is something for everyone and it's waiting for you to unlock more of its secrets. For more information on Okanagan County, head to okanagancountry.com. Well, the ghosts are kicking us out here, so we're going to head up into the hills outside of Winthrop, Washington to the Sun Mountain Lodge. Take a break from the ordinary and visit Winthrop in the breathtaking Metal Valley. In town, you'll feel like you're back in the Wild West as you stroll the boardwalks, tap into the wilderness the valley has to offer with hiking, biking, fishing, rafting, and horseback riding. Take in the views from a balloon or from the top of scenic Highway 20. There's plenty of places to bunk down and stay for a while.
Adventure is in the air with a certain Western flair in Winthrop, Washington. For the best burgers this side of the Columbia River, try Pepper Jack's Bar and Grill in Grand Coulee. You better be hungry because the Starvin' Jack will pack you full. Maybe you're in the mood for the Whiskey Jack Burger topped with homemade tangy barbecue sauce. If prime rib is more your thing, be there Fridays for prime rib night. Or you can fill up at the fresh salad bar. Hand-cut steaks or seafood, it's all delicious. Meet your friends in the lounge for cocktails. Or if you have a large gathering, be sure to reserve the banquet room. Good wholesome food at Pepper Jack's Bar and Grill on Midway Avenue in Grand Coulee. Now that you've gotten a taste of the Okanagan Loop, we have one more reason to love North Central Washington. It's the beautiful Sun Mountain Lodge, and it's truly a place that you can go to get away from it all, and a place you'll find very hard to leave. High up in the hills over Winthrop, Washington is a destination resort that will take your breath away. Sun Mountain Lodge is one of the most spectacular lodges in Washington State. There's no other roads around us, so when you drive up here, this is what you see, Sun Mountain Lodge. Then in the background, you get, the, you get Mount Gardner. The North Cascades is what's next. General Manager Brian Charlton loves his job of 25 years and wants to share his passion for the outdoors with you. I got to go out and put in the snowshoe trails. You know, I get to get a bike and hike and it's Nirvana. Sun Mountain Lodge has 3,000 acres of Nirvana. In the winter, it's snowshoeing and cross-country skiing. In the spring and summer, it's hiking, mountain biking, and horseback riding. Around us, of course, you have just hundreds and hundreds of miles of trails. There's, there's just a, a plethora of trails and springtime brings flowers. At Sun Mountain Lodge, you'll spend your days exploring, but the accommodations inside make it hard to leave. Rustic elegance is the theme throughout the 117 rooms. The main lodge has spacious and relaxing rooms. Guest rooms in the Mount Gardner and Mount Robinson buildings offer private decks with views, fireplaces, and locally crafted furniture. There are even several cabins to rent on Sun Mountain's private Lake Patterson. One thing you won't see in the rooms, though, is a TV. Sun Mountain wants you to get out and experience nature. We're really outside playing. We want people to get outside and enjoy the outside and be themselves. Your taste buds will have an adventure, too. Oh, I like that, too. The chef at Sun Mountain Lodge uses locally sourced food from the meat to the produce to the grain. Sun Mountain is very proud of its farm to table legacy. Absolutely gorgeous. The dining room menu is always so changing to highlight what's in season and everything is fresh and homemade. It'll be hard to save room for dessert, but it's something you have to try to do because you don't want to miss out on something like the chocolate fantasy or the passion fruit cheesecake. The Sun Mountain Restaurant and Wine List have won numerous prestigious awards and there's something the Lodge is very proud of. This gorgeous custom-made wine cellar is available for tastings in private parties. It's stocked mostly with Washington wines from award-winning boutique wineries. The Lodge also has the Wolf Creek Bar and Grill with regional beers on tap and a casual menu making it easy to find something to satisfy everyone in the family. The family can also hang out in the game room with pool tables and foosball, or take a dip in the pools, or soak in the hot tubs. We have two hot tubs, both perched precariously on the edge of the cliffs so that you get the best views of the Cascades when you're in them. You can browse the gift shop full of local products, take in the ambiance next to the fireplace, or enjoy a good book in the library. Sun Mountain Lodge even has a spa offering services like manicures, facials, and couples massages. Sun Mountain Lodge truly is a resort for all seasons for everyone to enjoy. For more information on Sun Mountain Lodge, you can visit sunmountainlodge.com. Unfortunately, we do have to leave Sun Mountain Lodge, but we are headed to beautiful Medellin Falls in northeastern Washington, where our adventure takes us deep underground. Our next stop takes us to the northeasternmost corner of Washington, to the small town of Medellin Falls. 
The first thing you'll notice about Medellin Falls is the Ponderay River runs through it, carving out some amazing canyons and picturesque valleys that draw tourists from all over the Northwest. With a population of just over 200, the town has quaint shops and restaurants and one big time theater. The Cutter Theater, as it's now known, was originally the town's schoolhouse. Historical photos hang on the walls, giving you a glimpse into the lives of students who've long since graduated. The building operated as a school until the early 1970s when it fell into disrepair. It was full of junk. It was damaged, the roof leaked. It was in terrible condition. The, the head maintenance person for the school district told the board, it's dangerous to be in here and he wanted it demolished. And it was that close to being demolished. Eva Gale Six was the driving force behind the resurrection of the Cutter Schoolhouse. Then started with just volunteers. I'll tell you that those were hard years. There was no heat in it, there was no water in it. Under her guidance, with the help of several grants and a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, the school was transformed into the Cutter Theater you see today. Those seats there came out of the old deja vu in Spokane. And uh, we hauled them up on winter roads, all kinds of volunteers offering their rigs. It's that kind of community spirit that puts the Cutter Theater into the spotlight. Not only is it a place now for theatrical productions, it's a place for afternoon tea parties and luncheons. It's a community center, a dance hall, and art gallery. For Susan Hobbs, the executive director of the Cutter Theater, it's much more. It's a reason for the smallest child to stand taller. Will you help me plant this green of wheat? Not time. Not I. It's a source of pride that's very hard to quantify. Many locals take part in the plays and musicals here, whether it's costume making, set building, or acting. Kirkland Cutter probably never intended for his schoolhouse to become a theater, but you can almost hear the applause of the past for the Cutter Theater of today. If you're a history buff with an adventurous spirit, just a short drive from Medellin Falls is the Gardner Cave. Descend deep into another world. Stalactites, stalagmites, and columns formed over the centuries create an eerie yet beautiful backdrop. The cave here was discovered in 1899 by a man named Ed Gardner. He was homesteading out here and supposedly making the best moonshine in Ponderate County. And uh, he was riding his horse one day and his horse stumbled on the entrance of the cave. No stumbling these days, thanks to handrails, lights, and trusted tour guide, Julia Waltner. So as we go down through the cave. Public tours are offered throughout the cave season, which runs from May to September. Bring your walking shoes, a camera, and a jacket. The cave's temperature can get down to the low 40s. The grand finale, once you reach the end of the cave, will leave you in the dark. I would like to turn the lights out and let you experience the total darkness of the environment in here. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, you won't have to find your way out in the dark, so take your time and enjoy the view. You won't see anything else like this in eastern Washington. For more information on the Gardner Cave, go to the Ponderay River Tourism Alliance website at porta-us.com. And to learn more on the Cutter Theater, go to cuttertheater.com. Up next, a jewel of a town on one of the most beautiful lakes in Montana. We'll visit Polson, Montana next. Beautiful Flathead Lake in northwest Montana is the backdrop for our next stop. The lakeshore community of Polson, Montana sits on the south end of Flathead Lake and offers something for everyone to enjoy. When the sun rises over Polson, Montana, it's like Mother Nature has cast her magic across the land. The wildlife venture out. The mountains show their glory 
and the town wakes up into a colorful display of small town USA. Polson is that place that you remember from your young times. You, you come downtown, you walk in the shops, it's mom and pops stores. You meet the people that own the business. Jackie and her husband fell in love with the charming lakeside town more than 14 years ago. We were at the top of Polson Hill and how could you not fall in love with it? I mean, you just look down and you see the narrows and the lake and it just takes your heart and so we wish we'd found it 20 years earlier. Polson is only a four and a half hour drive from Spokane, Washington and it's well worth the trip. On one side of Polson are the majestic snow-capped Mission Mountains. On the other, sparkling Flathead Lake. It's our little jewel. It's, it's so important to us. And I don't think there's any place else around the lake that it's more beautiful. One of the best ways to get acquainted with the area is by boat. Three hour and a half cruises are offered daily on board the Shadow. You'll take in views of Wild Horse Island, some of the spectacular homes lining the lake, and magnificent scenery of Northwest Montana. You'll find the Shadow moored at the Quatucknook Resort. It's a gorgeous place to walk the boardwalk or rent a jet ski for the day. The Flathead Indian Nation owns the resort and offers a great casino to get your gaming on. If you're looking for a room with a view, the Quatucknook is the best place in town. For a day trip, make plans to visit Kerr Dam. It is not only beautiful, but powerful. The Kerr Dam began operation back in 1938. It's 541 feet long and 205 impressive feet high. Another reason to visit Polson? Flathead cherries, of course. Check the calendar for Polson's Cherry Fest. And pucker up because pit spitting and stem tying races are two of the favorite activities. That was one minute and 14 seconds. 15 seconds and 16 seconds. Okay. You can't find small town fun like this just anywhere. Most of all, we have the friendly people, the people that are glad to see you come and visit. Our hospitality can't be beat anywhere. That Montana hospitality coupled with endless outdoor adventures is enough to satisfy everyone in the family. Polson has a 27-hole golf course. The Polson Bay Golf Course sits right along Flathead Lake with unbelievable views of the Mission and Swan Mountain ranges. Polson Bay prides itself on being a relaxed and friendly course. And if you want to get a little wet, grab your life jacket and take a whitewater raft trip down the Flathead River, one of Montana's wildest rivers. Several outfitters in the area have guided trips that will take you safely through rapids ranging from class one to class four. In Polson, Montana, this is the closest thing to a traffic jam. No coffee needed, the rapids will get you going in the morning, a commute you won't likely forget anytime soon. For more information on Polson, Montana and all of these activities, go to polsonchamber.com. Still to come on Explore TV, the Grand Coulee, a part of Eastern Washington that will surprise and amaze you with its beauty. Come to Quinn's Hot Springs Resort in Paradise, Montana. Continuing great service since 1885, Quinn's Resort offers comfortable Montana luxury. Nestled in the Lolo National Forest on the Clark Fork River, Quinn's is your location for year-round activities with breathtaking views. Come see the updated pools, new cabins, and enjoy fine dining served with Montana hospitality at the historic Harwood House Restaurant, a true destination for romantic getaways and events. Soak in soothing hot mineral pools. Sleep your cares away. It's a beautiful day in paradise. Visit Quinn's online today. For the perfect vacation, visit Cooley Playland on Banks Lake near Grand Cooley, Washington. This beautiful tree-lined park offers full hookups, tent sites, yurt rental, hot showers, and even Wi-Fi. And the fish are always jumping at Cooley Playland. Launch your boat on site or rent a fishing, pontoon, or paddle boat for fun in the sun. Pick up tackle, camping supplies, and gifts at the Cooley Playland store. Cooley Playland on Banks Lake, east of Electric City, just minutes from Grand Cooley Dam. Call or log on today for reservations. 
Grand Coulee Center Lodge in Grand Coulee has a comfortable room waiting for you. Our newly remodeled rooms offer a variety of amenities to make your stay enjoyable and memorable. The Grand Coulee Center Lodge is an escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Enjoy a complimentary continental breakfast. And for lunch or dinner, cook your own steaks on our barbecue. And enjoy quality time with friends and family. Grand Coulee Center Lodge. Western hospitality at its finest. Make your reservation today and begin your adventure tomorrow. Our final stop is the Grand Coulee Dam area, and grand it is. The landscape here is so dramatic and so unique, you'll have a hard time believing you're in Washington State. Steep cliffs, crystal clear lakes, and abundant wildlife describe the Grand Coulee area. Most people have heard of the Grand Coulee Dam. It's the largest concrete structure in the United States. But the area around the dam, the Grand Coulee, is something to remember as well. Lots of people don't know where we're at, so you get a lot of people, first time visitors, who come and say, I didn't even know you were here. The Grand Coulee area is located in eastern Washington, about one and a half hours from Spokane and about five hours from Seattle. The area is surrounded by lakes. The Grand Coulee Dam creates the 152 mile long Lake Roosevelt. And Banks Lake is 27 miles of recreational heaven. Fishing is probably one of the top activities here. Banks Lake is open year round, as is Roosevelt and Rufus Woods, which is rather unique in Washington. Anglers can literally ply the water here year round for certain species and uh, there's almost never a bad time to fish here. <laughs> there's just a few times that are better. <laughs> so, This is a popular place to watch for wildlife too. Birders enjoy this area, especially during the migration periods. Uh, the Audubon actually conducts a bird survey on Banks Lake every spring. Boating, fishing, camping, hiking, the Grand Coulee area has it all. Lots of boating, lots of skiers and, and that type of thing, wakeboarders, uh, just recreational swimming and, and skiing. And then we have a lot of fishing tournaments that happen here. The activities attract a lot of people, especially in the hot summer months. But in the Grand Coulee, it doesn't feel crowded. The shoreline along the local lakes is mostly undeveloped with a few campgrounds along the way. So it's possible to explore with elbow room. In fact, many boaters like to camp in remote spots they find along the lake shore. When people come here that have boated other places, they're very surprised at how open and, and wide open the lake is and how great the uh, availability is of shoreline places to stop and camp. and and hike and boat off of that. Steamboat Rock Campground is one place to stop. You can hike up to the top of its namesake for an incredible view. Steamboat Rock and the other cliffs in Grand Coulee were formed millions of years ago, first by lava flows and then by prehistoric floods. As you go down the Grand Coulee here, this drive, if just take your time and look at both sides, both the west wall and east wall and uh, you'll get an idea of, of somewhat the thickness is of these lava flows. Of course, another awe-inspiring feature of the Grand Coulee is the dam itself. There are organized tours all summer long, and at night, a laser light show illuminates the face of the dam. Festivals also abound here. Rodeos, a huge 4th of July celebration, and a fall festival are just a few. As you can tell, everything in the Grand Coulee area is, well, grand. From the dam, to the landscape, to the lakes, this area will surprise you. And once you visit, you want to come back for more. We can handle it though. The campgrounds are here, the RV parks are here, the motels are here, the restaurants are here. And uh, we welcome everybody with open arms. For more information on the Grand Coulee Dam area, go to grandcooleydam.org. I hope you've enjoyed this spring edition of Explorer TV. If you want more information on all the places we've been, just go to our website at kxoy.com. Truly is a place that you can get away from it all and a place that you'll find very hard to leave. <laughs> There are a lot of small towns in the Northwest. How come I can't say in the Northwest? We're in old Molson, Molson, Washington. Take 25.
Bye. <laughs> Woo!